Around a dozen opposition candidates have joined forces to fight the postponement of Senegal's presidential election. That's according to one of the candidates, Anta Babakar. There's only one date, February 25th, 2024. We're not negotiating, we're not discussing, we're not postponing. It's one date and we're sticking to it. On Monday, Senegal's parliament voted to push the election back to December, extending President Macky Sall's mandate. That prompted international alarm and a domestic backlash. But protests on Sunday and Monday were fairly small and dispersed by riot police. Babakar said she and fellow opposition leaders had asked their supporters to stay home and remain calm while they try to challenge the postponement via legal routes. We are preparing, we are cooking. So let nobody get fooled by this peace in the streets. It's going to happen and it might happen in the most hurtful way. And as a, as a mother, as a woman, I don't want the blood to, to, to shred again in this country. Saul said the postponement was necessary because a dispute over the candidate list and alleged corruption at the constitutional body that compiled it could seriously undermine the credibility of the election. But Babakar and other opposition and civil society representatives see the move as an unprecedented attack on Senegal's democratic tradition. There's only one colour. It's Senegal. We have one goal. She and others have now put their political differences aside, she says, to end Saul's tenure and get Senegal's election back on track. Yes.